Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play 3DS games on your PC. We're going to be doing this with an emulator called Citra. Now Citra is still currently in the development, so not all games are going to work, but some of them will work, some of them will kind of work, and some of them just blatantly won't work. So you're going to need a couple of things to do this. First thing we're going to need is the actual emulator itself. I'm going to leave a download link in the description down below and we're just going to want to download the latest version. Currently it's on 83 Bleeding Edge and I would just download the latest version because it's going to be the most up to date version. Newer versions may break some things, the older version right. It's just a matter of playing around with this. Like I said, it's still early days for this emulator so it's just a bit of trial and error. Simply click download and run and click download on this and your download will start. I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to click cancel. Uh, once you have your download downloaded, you want to move it to a location where you can find it easily. I currently have it on my desktop and you simply want to run the emulator. It's very easy to do. It might give you some something about this, blah, 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 blah whatever. Click OK and your emulator will launch. From here, you're going to need an actual ROM, which we already have on my desktop right now, which is a .3ds file. Now, you're going to need a decrypted file. A quick Google search will help you out with this. Um, and this is going to be a file that's going to be set up already for an emulator. So that means it's going to be in a .3ds format. And I think normally if it's not decrypted and ready for emulation, it's in a .cia or some other variants of that. But, but you're mainly looking for a .3ds format currently. Now, if you want to know what games are currently compatible, we have a somewhat structured list here, uh, which I will also leave a link in the description. It'll show some of the games and you can rate them by their compatibility. Uh, some games on here that say they don't work or have like no ratings do work. And some of them that are on here will that say they will work might cause some issues. But regardless, these are, these are roughly some of the things you will need to know before jumping into the emulator. I will leave other information that I find down below. There are other builds of the emulator that will offer some advantages and that will play games that others can't. It's a matter of doing some research, but this is just a basic get started guide with just the basic standard emulator. So, with enough talking, once you have your emulator open, you simply want to locate your 3DS file. So you're going to click file load file and wherever your 3ds file is located currently mine's on my desktop you want to open it and your game will start to run now you may notice a lot of text and stuff going on in the background be patient depending on your pc and depending on your hardware it may take longer for the game to run but as you can see it is running right now uh, like i said i didn't mention this before this game can be quite heavy on your pc you will need a somewhat decent pc you'll need uh up-to-date drivers you'll probably need a dedicated gpu and some other things as this is still in development it's going to be obviously more intensive than it will be when it's fully sorted out but it does work as you can see now your mouse will work as a pointer uh which you can click on and use it as a touchpad which is quite cool and then i click it it presses start and you can select whatever you want to click so i'm just going to load up this and click start and it works just like that now don't don't worry about what's going on in the background that's just going to happen regardless so that's how you set up a 3ds emulator i will leave anything else in the description down below if there's any trouble you guys have let me know uh like i said this is still an early development and i i was kind of questioning making a tutorial on this and i still questioning myself now i will make an updated one once it's everything is fully sorted out i didn't want to make a really long one this is just to get things sorted some games will work some games will give some difficulty but it is currently to a stage where I, I felt comfortable making a tutorial without having to give you thousands of links to work this does work and this just proves it this is the legend of zelda and it's an awesome awesome game and it's it's currently a nice emulator but it still needs work i'm not gonna lie about that Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, sorry if some games don't work for you. I'll help in any way I can with the comments down below. Like I said, they're constantly updating this every few days. So maybe the latest version will help you out. A uh, quick Google search will help you find ROMs and stuff. I'm not going to be giving any links here. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my other tutorials. I have some other emulators and I have some other stuff to just help you out with some software. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it softy.